Hi, today we're going to see how to create an ink smoke face effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to file, new. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And I'm going to change the color of this layer for now. So I'm going to left click on the foreground color. I'm going to select a gray color. So here's the HTML notation and then press OK. And now I'm just going to drag it the layer. So here it is. And now I'm going to bring my first image. So I'm going to select this smoke image here. So I'm going to drag it to GIMP. So here it is. And now I'm going to rotate this layer. So go to layer, transform. And then here rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And now I'm going to scale down this layer here. So select the scale tool, left click on the smoke layer. So as you can see, the channel icon here is linked. So keep the control key down here while scaling from one handle to scale it proportionally like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to scale it here like this. So here it is. And now just press enter. And now right click, I'm going to add an alpha. So here, as you can see, there's an alpha channel. It has an alpha channel. So now just layer to image size. So here it is. So now I'm going to remove the background from this layer. So I'm going to use the select by color tool. So here are the settings I'm using for the select by color tool. And now left click on the smoke layer on the white area here. So here it is, we have selected all the white and then just press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is and now go to select, now to remove selection. So as you can see, there's a white outline around here. So in order to remove this white color here, the remaining white color, go to layer, transparency, and then color to alpha. So here it is, make sure to choose the color white. So here it is, if you left click, so it was in, on the color white. And now I'm just going to play with these two sliders here, the transparency threshold and the opacity threshold. So here, if I increase it, as you can see, to remove more. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity slider. So here, as you can see, it's revealing some of the white color. So I'm going to leave it here for the transparency. So if I increase it, it's too much. So just play with the sliders here till you get the result you want. So here, I think it's okay here, so press okay. And now I'm going to change the layer background here, this one here, the gray layer. Select the gradient tool, I'm just going to add the gradient. So the shape, I'm going to select the radial gradient and the gradient is FG to BG RGB. So here, I'm just going to drag it. And now I'm just going to switch. I want the white color to be in the middle and the gray outside. So here it is. And I'll just select another tool to confirm the gradient. And now I'm going to bring my second image. So this is the women's image I'm going to use. So here it is. So here it is, as you can see, it's quite big. So I'm going to use the scale tool for that. So I'm going to place it over the smoke layer and then reduce its opacity. So here like this, and now select the scale tool, and then left click. And now just as before, the chain icon here is linked. So keep the control key down while scaling from one handle to scale it proportionally. So here I'm going to place it here so that I will be able to cut out the smoke here from the face to have the woman's face here. So if I press the plus key, so I'm going to raise it a little bit. So here I think it's okay. So we're going to remove the outside part of the smoke here from the face here so that we have the shape of the profile here, of the woman's face here in the smoke. And now just click on scale and now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to increase the opacity back to 100. And now I'm just going to remove the white background here. So just select the fuzzy select tool. So for the mode, I'm just going to select the replace color selection. And now here are settings I'm using and I'm just going to left click. So here it is. So as you can see, we have selected some parts of the hand here, but it's okay. We won't use the hand 
for this image and now just press the delete key. So first make sure that the women layer has an alpha channel. So as you can see, it has an alpha channel. And now just press the delete key. So here it is. Now go to select none. So here, as you can see, we didn't select these parts here, so it's okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on the women layer. I'm just going to remove this part here from the smoke layer, the outside part here, so that I have the women's face on the smoke. So right click, we're going to make selection from the women, alpha to selection. So here it is. And now I'm just going to hide the women layer here, select the smoke layer, and now select the eraser tool in order to remove the outside part we're going to invert the selection so go to select invert so here it is and now we will be able to remove here so here it is so here it is and now just go to select none so here we have the women's face here like this and now i'm going to do the opposite thing i'm going to make selection from the smoke layer alpha to selection so here it is and now I'm going to select the women layer so click on the eye icon here to show the women layer and now I'm going to delete everything that's outside of the selection here so in order to do so just go to select invert and now I'm just going to press on the delete key to remove everything that's outside of this selection make sure on the women layer so here it is and now go to select none so here's the women layer so here it is it took the shape of the smoke and here the here is the smoke layer it took the shape of the women's face and now i'm going to add a layer mask to the women layer right click on it add layer mask and then check the black full transparency layer mask and then add so on layer mask the white represents opacity and the black transparency so now if i paint white here on the on the layer here on the women layer on the layer mask here so if I select this one, here's the white outline on the layer. Select this one, the layer mask. I'm going to select the paintbrush tool in order to reveal the women's face. And now I'm just going to reduce the hardness and the force. I'm going to increase a little bit the size. And now I'm just going to paint here. And still control Z to undo if you don't like the effect. I'm going to increase the hardness and the force so that the women's face is going to be revealed more so here and now let's reduce it and then if you want to erase some parts here just i'm just going to use the black color so click on this icon to turn the foreground and background colors to black and white and now i'm just going to hide parts here i don't want to make it blend much better so here like this, I'm going to reduce a little bit size. So here it is. So here it is. And now I'm going to right click new from visible. And now I'm just going to add slight vignette here. So go to filters, light and shadow, and then vignette. So here it's too much. I'm just going to drag handle here like this and this one I'm going to drag it upward so here I think it's much better press ok so here it is that's how you can create an ink smoke face effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time